invitation of this passage, in part, isn't simply to recognize God's mercy, but the invitation is also to respond. To respond. He's saying, in view of God's mercy, the call is to respond. And how do we respond? We read, to offer our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. In view of God's mercy, essentially offer yourself to him. Now what Paul is doing here is he's calling on the Old Testament imagery of the sacrificial system that takes place in Jewish culture. Right? If you were to rewind to the book of Leviticus, this riveting book about all sorts of sacrifices that the Israelites have. You can read it all, how they give them, when they give them, why they give them, the types of things that they bring. There were all of these sacrifices that the Israel's, Israelites were called to bring in order to engage with God. Now, part of what Paul says throughout all of his writing in the New Testament is that because of the sacrifice of Jesus, we no longer have to engage in the sacrifices of the Old Testament. Jesus is the once and for all sacrifice that has fulfilled all the other sacrifices, making the system on the whole obsolete. But the thing that we are to bring to God is ourselves, our whole selves, our whole life. The call of our faith is to offer not just our physical bodies, but everything we have to God. Eugene Peterson, in his translation of the Bible called The Message, says this when he translates Romans 12 verse 1. He says, so here's what I want you to do. God helping you, take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, sleeping, your eating, your going to work, your walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. He's saying all that you are, all that you have, it's, t- it's time to view your entire life in part as a gift from God that should be used on his behalf, offered back to him. Your recreation life, your vocation life, your family, your house, your resources, your time, your money, everything is a good gift from God to you. And so we are called to offer it back to him. And so the question is, what are you giving yourself to, right? We are all giving ourselves to something. We are all offering our entire life to something or someone. What is it for you that you are giving your life to? What is it that you are giving your life for? We were all created to find meaning and significance in our lives, in some source outside ourselves. We weren't created to find meaning, significance within ourselves, but outside ourselves. And we're all going to something. We're all offering ourselves to something. And so the question is, what? What is that thing for you? 